What's the word, gang? So, look, we got this whole update when it comes to ATK. Now, ATK has been rumors that it's a Rico coming. You know what I'm saying? A massive Rico is coming, and, you know, a lot of people are alleging that it has something to do with the way they've been moving on social media. You know, some bloggers even making sort of connections on how this person is connected to this person, this person is connected to that person, which brings a lot of questions. You know what I'm saying? A lot of questions. Now, earlier, you know, we seen on Remo page, he had basically posted a clip of Brick Baby talking about how, you know, they lost seven members since, well, six members since Fulio's death. The ATK had lost about six members. Now, it's been, you know, different people pop up, you know, in regards to that, speaking on that. You know what I'm saying? The guy Sosa came out saying that it's merched, that they ain't lose no six people the only person that died since that incident is fulio and um you know we get news from new court documents from duval county that's saying that when young and ace got caught last year with seven illegal firearms including one that had armor piercing ammunition by a convicted felon now this is a big charge for him you know a big charge and all of a sudden the charges were dropped now, I know what y'all saying, like, what y'all mean the charges was dropped. Like, was it somebody else in the vehicle? Was he saying it was his security? You know, the list goes on. We just seen Boosie, he got his federal charges dropped. It went state, then went federal, and then he ended up getting it dropped entirely, right? So, you know, he got up out of that gym. But in this particular case, Young and Ace, his illegal firearms charges has been dropped. Now, a lot of people saying that the feds is picking this up. And this is going to tie into the whole Fulio situation. Now, I want y'all to get in the comments and let me know what y'all think. But, you know, some of these guys, not just rappers from Jacksonville, Florida, you know, Duval County. It's guys from all around the country that we can say that's moving kind of wacky. You know, when it comes to even being caught with seven firearms, like you going to shoot, you got seven arms to shoot seven guns. Like, make that make sense. But that's what's going on. In today's world you know you got these guys they coming out bro they dangerous you know when it come to this shit they saying that they dangerous all on music they saying that they gonna hit up an op from 10 miles away you know what i'm saying op scope bow op gone you know what i'm saying they talk about smoking on packs you know me being from chicago i know that chicago influenced a lot of these guys around the country to even speak like the way they've been speaking like even when they got salsa was speaking on the Brick Baby situation. He was like, it's merch. You know, um, the Opax, smoking on this guy. You know, all these different things came and it tied into the drill culture. Now, the drill culture is bigger than ever. It ain't crossed overseas. It's in the UK. You know, it's in New York. It's in Florida. It's even in the ATL. You know, I forget the guy name that's from the ATL that just recently got locked up. But um, his music can be considered drill rap as well you know and um atk it looked like they about to have a day in court possibly you know and um we seen the other day ratchet tv he was actually on academics now we spoke to ratchet tv yesterday and ratchet was basically telling us a bunch of things on why he do what he do he said he want justice for the community he said a lot of these guys are coming on social media and incriminating they self he said, what did that have to do with him? Now, I get it a wholeheartedly 100% why he's saying that these guys are snitching on themselves, leaving room for bloggers to even report on it. This is true. This is no, like, it's no way around it. This is what's really going on. Now, Ratchet also spoke on, you know, some of the details, how he's going about receiving these details. He spoke to the lady that was there on the scene that was working at the hotel she say she don't want to go back to the hotel she say in fact some of her co-workers was allegedly in on it they had got paid to post certain things i guess to reveal locations and things of that nature you know because if this is true and the feds are involved it's definitely gonna come out on somebody's court document pretty soon now you got guys like atk quiz quasi you know, quiz, quizzy, he basically saying that he don't got no involvement. 
Now, Ratchet been pointing fingers at him, saying, like, look, man, he talked about all this on his songs, and now he trying to say that he not a rapper. Now he trying to say he a Twitch streamer. Now he trying to say he a YouTuber. He even talked shit about YouTubers. He say these bloggers, these podcasters. But yet, it seems like he in that same profession. The only difference is maybe he's hiding under this profession, right? He's hiding under it because of the, some of the things he might have did in his past that he trying to, you know, get away from and put out a different image. But unfortunately, the Internet and the way it's set up is a lot of this stuff ain't going to die. It's going to be here for quite a bit of time. So even when you think that you post and delete it, they got it. Even when you think that, OK, you scrape the Internet for this particular song, they got it. When you saying that you you know you went live and that live don't exist no more, they got it. You know what I'm saying? And when I'm talking about they, I'm talking about the general public. Anytime you put something out on the internet, it's usually timestamp. It's usually somebody has got a recorder on. It could be three people on that damn live and somebody probably is recording. Let alone some of these guys got thousands of people on their lives. You know what I'm saying? Reporting on the different situations that they got going on. I've been seeing the Duval County Reddit for probably about, I want to say, two years. So that's been a thing where even they read it is similar to like the Chirac ology, the Atlanta ology, you know, and some of the other ones, you know, New York State of Mind, where they pretty much dropping different things inside this Reddit. I don't know if they shooting for the stars, but some of the shit sound like it's some people from these said neighborhoods that's posting this information. Maybe they want some bragging rights. That's what a lot of people said that the reason that. They even post on social media or put this shit on social media for the simple fact they want bragging rights. You know, they want the world to know, like, look, man, we did that shit. There's nothing y'all can do about it. But just like posting it to the world, it's another, you know, aspect to this. The world is seeing it, but you know who's in this world? The police, federal agents, officials of the government. Lawyers, DAs, and potential trial people. You know, trial people mean a jury. Potential jurors can see this. So if it ever come down and you got to go to trial and they paint you all on the news and they saying, look at this video. Look what Young and Ace did. Look what Young and Ace came out with. Look what he said. He said that he allegedly did something to Fulio. He said that he got a drop on Fulio. He said that he got that phone call at 5 a.m. that it was done, allegedly. You know, they going to look into this stuff. So I don't know if these boys just they don't got nothing to do with it. And it's just, you know, the luck of the draw since they were being trolled, they say. Maybe they trolling back, you know. And uh, I even seen Fulio's girlfriend come out and uh, she was going at it with another girl from, I guess, ATK side. And she kept the girl from ATK side kept telling her, like, look, don't be no angel, uh, don't be no Asian doll. You know, and I'm like, Asian doll, what she gotta do with it? But then I thought about it. Asian doll, rap beef. You know, rap beef turned deadly. Her ex. Somebody that she promotes on social media a lot, even to this day. You know, she went about got a chain made. She went about and got a you know, a tattoo. You know, she's hold, hold down, I guess, King Von. You know, Fulio even spoke on it where he said that, look, if I die, I don't want my girlfriend to be like Asian dog. So that was kind of deep to hear. But, um, yeah, new court documents reveal that Jacksonville Sheriff's Office have dropped Young and Ace's illegal firearm charges. And a lot of people, this is going to be news today. Y'all going to see more people talk about it. But um, it was seven illegal firearms, including one that had armor, pistol, armor on uh, piercing ammunition by a convicted felon. So in other words, you would think his ass would be cooked, but they dropped it. And like I said, most people are going to say the feds are going to pick it up. So y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. It's Death of the Cloud Chaser TV. Gang.